Our two brothers, who were sexually abused in childhood by the same vicar, are calling for a change in the law to force professionals who work with children to report suspicions of abuse to the authorities. Phil and Gary Johnson were both groomed and abused by the, right rev uh, by the Reverend Roy Cotton in Eastbourne in the 1970s and 80s. As our special correspondent Colin Campbell explains, they believe that mandatory reporting would help to prevent similar cases in the future. The abuse itself was, uh, it was kind of all intrusive. It became all encompassing. He physically overpowered me and I believed I was going to die. They were both abused by their priest and now believe children can be better protected by a change in the law. It is not illegal to cover up childhood sexual abuse or fail to report it. And I think until it is, there's always the risk that this will continue. When I was abused, a, a law that would force people to report even suspicions of, um, or certainly evidence of, of uh, sexual abuse of, of minors, uh, would absolutely have protected me. At present, statutory guidance exists for those who work with children, but it doesn't impose a legal obligation to report suspected or known abuse. Employees must take the statutory guidance into account. If they do not report, they must provide clear reasons for their action. Mandatory reporting would legally oblige professionals who work with children to report abuse or suspected abuse to the local authority for independent assessment. While Gary and Phil Johnson believe mandatory reporting would have protected them from abuse as they grew up here in Eastbourne, others fear it is a measure that could deter victims from coming forward and overwhelm the authorities. If the adults interacting with children are subject to mandatory reporting, they will need to take action and immediately report to the authorities, which will result in a breach of trust, which in turn could actually undermine the, the relationship that children need to be confident about before they can start talking about the issues that they experience. As we've shown in the past, child sex abuse by Sussex priests has been covered up. Despite failings being identified, no one has ever been disciplined. I think the problem with institutions in general, whether it be a football club or a, a public school or a hospital or something, I think institutions' motivation has always been to protect their own image and reputation and revenue stream rather than to protect children. And I think that really has to change. The government completed a consultation on whether to adopt a system of mandatory reporting last year. No decision has yet been announced. Colin Campbell, BBC South East Today, Eastbourne. And on Inside Out this evening, you can see an extended report on Phil and Gary Johnson's fight to prevent future cases of sexual abuse on BBC One at 730